Hello there, I'm Kara Gayhart and I teach at East Perry Elementary in Perry County. And the title of my innovations grant is Musical Relief. So just a little background about it. Um, we have four alternate curriculum resource rooms currently. 82% roughly of our students are on the autism spectrum. Ranging from level one to level three autism, kindergarten to eighth grade students. So as you can imagine, we have a large variety of behaviors and the severity of the behaviors and the needs of our students. And so the purpose, I wanted to provide more than just touch for our sensory relief for our students. So touch and sound, those went great together. And I actually learned about the electronic paint from another project that I had saw someone present. I mean, I thought it was a great way to add the touch and the sound all at the same time and provide some of them unique ways to relieve our sensory frustration and some coping skills for our kids. And there's just a picture of the paint. You know, there are some of the things that I bought. And the idea again behind it is when you touch the paint and um, touch the black, it is connected to the soundboard by copper tape and it will react. So when you touch the light, it will turn on. So um, at East Perry, this electronic paint was a very small portion of a really large project that we started at East Perry. We really just wanted to up our ante when it came to our sensory relief for our kids because we do have a really large need and it's very diverse. Um, and I just wanted to show you this because it'll make it all make sense in the end. Um, in our hallway, we have an earth side and a water side. And both sides do have electronic paint. This is our water side. Now, there's tons of things to touch, but we didn't have anything that made sound necessarily. Um, so that's where the electronic paint came into place. And as you can see here on the top right hand portion, the R, that black is the electronic paint. Now, when the student touches that black, we had our STLP students, which I think this is really cool. They recorded some of the sounds that are used, especially on the alphabet tree. Um, everything on the box that you see there on the bottom right hand corner, that will make electronic sounds. Um, in the box, everything is behind that box. And so, for example, when they touch the R, they would hear R, 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 rain. And the sound of rain goes in behind that. So each one of these letters on the box is linked to a portion of the sound, the little chip, and then when that's touched, it all connects together and you hear the sound. And the kids love it, I think it's so cool. So on the other side of our hallway, this is the water side. We have another board, as you can see, and the top right hand corner there. We have the alphabet, you touch it, it sings. The one below it is wiggle. And so they touch it and it says wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And the kids, they wiggle and they dance and turn around. And at the top right, the starfish there, it says trace me. And the students would take and they would trace. Now, adding to that, you can see here on the bottom right hand corner, and they have touch high, touch low, push-ups, turn around and squat, type your name. Um, and as you can see on the left-hand part, those were all made out of laminate. And eventually, once we have more time, um, we want to connect our electronic paint over to the rest of our wall. We're going to run copper wire up under the trim and then down to the vinyl. Um, and hopefully, when we're back into school, we'll have some more time to do that. Again, what I had just explained, what we use the electronic paint for. Now the data collected. Um, the data collection was cut short in the sense that I would really like to see how it, at the end of the year when things kind of got crazy, how it impacted our kids. But the initial data, as you can see, participation, transition, and appropriate behaviors were the three areas um, that I really wanted to focus on. And that's participation in the classroom and transition in between the classrooms. Um, as you can see, our students, they were really, really struggling and truthfully in all of those areas. Um, I have students that go to the general education classroom pretty much throughout the entire day. So these are huge, huge areas of importance for my kids. Um, and then take a look over the results. All of our students were positively impacted by the electronic paint and having that as a reward to go over and say, 
hey, let's get your work done and we'll go and we'll play in the sensory hallway. Or if they were having a bad day, we were able to say, all right, come on, let's take a walk. And they would go down there. Um, as you can see, some of our students were impacted more than others, but it did positively impact all of our students, which is great. And I cannot wait to see where it goes to from here. And then just a couple of extra things. And thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, my email is at the front of the PowerPoint. Thank you. Bye.